Karibu tena mtazamaji kwenye matukio nyanjani dakika 33 zisha katika baada ya saa sita mchana wa mwitio ni ya kwanza tunapigia darubini taarifa ambazo zinazidi kugonga vichwa vyetu vya habari mtandaoni ni nini ambacho wa Kenya wanazidi kusema at tv 47 ke at underscore clifford ke kwenye mtandao wa facebook tv 47 kenya ambapo tunapeperisha matangazo haya moja kwa moja na tovuti yetu maridadi ya tv 47.co.ke tukiwa tunazidi kusonga mbele ni anafamika kama clifford ndubi anwa irimo ni um, mfasiri wa lugha ishara katika upande wa pili na sasa hivi katika mtandaoni kuna mengi tu ambayo yanazidi kuzungumziwa lakini ambalo ni la muhimu sana ni swala hili la sagana ambapo wa Kenya wanazidi kutoa hisia mbali mbali kutokana na mkutano ambao unaendelea sasa hivi katika hoteli ya Sagana na hisia tu ni tofauti ambapo kuna wale ambao wanasema ya kwamba ni sharatosha kuwa inchi ama chama cha jubili kitakuwa kinagawanyika kirasmi lakini hayo kando hizo ni tetesi tu za Kenya kwa upande mwingine uh, masala ambayo tunatarajia rais Uhuru Kenyatta aweze kuguzia kwa mapana na marefu ni ripoti ya Building Bridges Initiative ambayo itakuwa inazinduliwa siku yoyote kutoka sasa hivi kando na hayo mtazamaji rais Uhuru Kenyatta tunatarajia vile vile aguzie masala ya Uh, mwaka wa 2022 na ni nani ambaye atakuwa anamrithi kutoka mlima Kenya na swala la uhusiano wake baina ya Raila Odinga naye Uhuru Kenyatta. Sasa hivi hebu tu tuchukue sehemu mbili tatu za wa Kenya kuhusiana na um, mkutano ambao sasa hivi unazidi kuzungumziwa kuna mmoja hapa anasema kwamba uh, resist Kenyatta state captain aha hapa yupo ambani aha, kidogo tu kidogo tu mitambo hapa inaleta mushkil haya mmoja anasema kwa hali usalama katika eneo la Sagana Lodge ni, ni hali iko shwari kabisa yupo mwingine hapa anasema an independent institution should stand up for the principles of unity and cohesion Ole Kaparo should be inst uh, instigating for the president agenda for publicly encouraging division tribalism and more so marginalization of the co of the uh, uh, minority tribes in Kenya Yupo mwingine hapa sasa hivi naarifiwa kwamba Rais Uhuru Kenyatta tayari amewasili katika eneo hilo la Sagana na uh, kuna wengi ambao tu wanazidi kumlaki uh, uh, kauli tu za wa Kenya ni nyingi sana kuhusiana na masala haya ya uh, Sagana tutakuwa tunafuatilia taarifa hiyo lakini mtazamaji mbali na hayo kuna taarifa ambayo niliweza kuguguzia hapo hapo nyuma kuhusiana na uhusiano baina ya nchi ya Kenya na Somalia ambapo baada ya miezi kadha wa kadha ya vuta ni kuvuta ambayo imeweza kushuhudiwa hapo jana Rais Uhuru Kenyatta pamoja na mwenzake Mohamed Farmajo waliweza ku kete chini na kukubaliana ya kwamba uasama huu utakuwa unaweko kando. Sasa hivi hebu tupate kauli zao kisha baadaye tutakuwa tunazungumza na mhadhiri wa chuo kikuu cha Masinde Muliro anafahamika kama Gerard Majani aweze kutueleza hili sasa linamaanisha nini kwa nchi ya Kenya. Unfortunately uh, over the last uh, couple of months you know we have had uh, certain issues that have strained our relationship. But today we have agreed with my brother that there is need for us to ensure we bring normality to our relationship, we bring sensibility back to our relationship. And as brothers who may disagree from time to time, but families always find a way of resolving their problems in a peaceful manner. So we agreed that from now onwards we must do everything we can, especially as leaders, to ensure that our people live peacefully, they live happily, and we are able to work together because ultimately we are one people. So after lengthy discussions, which we have said we will continue, there were a number of issues that uh, President Famajo also raised with me that were of concern. And indeed, I have agreed that uh, some of those issues we shall deal with uh, immediately. First and foremost, we have said uh, that um, previously, before all these uh, issues, our brothers and sisters from Somalia were able to come to Kenya and get visas on arrival. Their family, peacefully, we always appreciate that. Kenya and Somalia definitely has developed a close ties and historic relationship 
which based on mutual respect and equal, equal footing, and we always appreciate. As you said, uh, we discussed on several issues, including uh, to reinstate the direct flights from Mogadishu directly to uh, Nairobi and to stop the, the, uh, the Wajir uh, stopover. We really appreciate. Also, we uh, agree that uh, to issue visa on arrival, particularly our public officials who come here for government business, we also appreciate. We have a lot of things in common. Tukiwa atroguzia usiano huu mpya baina ya Kenya na Somalia na uhasama ambao umekuwa ukishuhudiwa miezi kadha wa kadha ama miezi mbili tu ambayo imeweza kupita sasa hivi kwa njia ya simu mhadhiri wa chuo cha Masinde Muliro anafahamika kama uh, Gerald Majani atakuwa anatusaidia kuelewa uhusiano huu na sasa hivi Gerald Majani je tunatarajia nini kwanza kutoka uhusiano huu Na Gerald iwapo unanipata je tutakuwa tutatarajia nini kutoka uhusiano huu mpya ambao nchi ya Kenya na Somalia wameweza kukubaliana? Hello. Hujambo Gerald habari ya mchana? Very fine, very fine. Are you comfortable in English? Unaweza kuzungumza tu kwa lugha ya Kiingereza hamna tatizo. Thank you. Thank you. Safi, lakini unaweza tu kuchanganya ndimi. Sasa uhusiano huu mpya unamaanisha nini kwa nchi ya Kenya na Somalia? Okay, the new push for Kenya Somalia renewed relationship is uh, actually a benefit and uh, a push forward for diplomatic relations, which will give room for number one, normalcy of interactions of nationalities, number two, uh -huh. normalcy of economic social and political engagement, then number three, normalcy of particularly what we would call in a diplomacy, maritime diplomacy. Aya Safi, sasa kando na uhusiano tu ambao umesema utakuwa unaboreka kuna kitu ambayo nchi ya Somalia iliweza kupeleka katika mahakama ya jinai ambapo mwaka ujao kesi hii itakuwa inarejelewa je kuna uh, nafasi sasa ya nchi ya Somalia kutoa kesi hiyo katika uh, mahakama ya jinai I don't think so I don't think so why because of a very simple reason that uh, what we are engaging in is a political process, mm -hmm. not a legal process. Mm -hmm. And the issue at hand here between Kenya and Somalia is what we would call a legal text into a political context. Mm -hmm. So that we are using political means mm -hmm. to try to address a legal question. And therefore, I believe what we have are just top gap measures to give us room so that we can revisit strategically uh -huh. our engagement as states. And I remember very well, in 2012 is when Somalia got a stable government. Uh -huh. And when getting a stable government, it meant that now it will be able to secure its boundaries, it will be able to define its people, and it will be able to engage its sovereign rights from within and without. Uh -huh. So that from 2012, come now up to 2014, is now when Somalia comes up and says, right, uh -huh. ICJ, we have a discrete problem with Kenya over the boundaries. Why? Because of the simple reason that Somalia looks at it in terms of protecting its sovereignty, number one. Number two, protecting its economic interests in terms of the oil and gas within that triangular area. Sawa so, sawa. Na sasa hivi uh, Kenya na Djibouti zitakuwa zinawania kiti cha umoja wa kimataifa, kiti cha kile cha usalama na Somalia itachangia vipi katika kuhakikisha nchi ya Kenya itakuwa inapata kiti hiki? Manake ukikumbuka vizuri uh, karibia mwezi mmoja ambao umepita nchi ya Somalia na 
zile nchi ambazo zina uh, zinafanya kazi vizuri sana na nchi ya Somalia kama vile uh, Djibouti kama vile Eritrea mm-hmm. zilijitokeza na kusema kwamba iwapo Kenya itachukua kiti hiki basi uh, Somalia itakuwa katika hali ya hatari ya kuweza kupoteza tu mengi no, no, not even that when you, when you look at it from a far fetch diplomatic approach you will realize that they align themselves in group Somalia is within the Arab League, uh-huh. same to Djibouti, uh-huh. and they have interests they pursue. They have those rights they pursue as Islamic countries, so to say. And Kenya, on the other hand, has got its own, its own interests as a pro-West. Uh-huh. Therefore, then we are saying, in as much as Kenya is pursuing its slot within the U.S., uh-huh. it might not be to the benefit of the so-called the Arab League, given that the Arab League is jeopardizing the Kenyan case in ICJ and looking at Kenya as an aggressor. And therefore, Djibouti being part of the Arab League, we would say it might not support Kenya per se towards its pursuit for this particular piece, the U.S. Safi. And therefore, that, uh-huh. there, there is an impasse. There is an impasse because of the simple reason that we are saying they shall forever do what? Protect their interests. And they come together in the world system based on their own affiliations, attachments, and above all, politic, political inclination. Uh-huh. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Gerard Majani. We shall be talking uh, about this uh, in the later bulletin. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Have a good afternoon, sir. Thank you. Okay. Nam huyo ni mhadhiri wa chuki kucha Masinde Muliro anafahamika kama Gerard Majani ambaye ameweza tu kutuarifu ya kwamba hili halitabadilisha mengi katika uhusiano tu huu ni, jari, ni njia tu za kujaribu ku, uh, kutuliza hali ambayo ilikuwa imeweza uh, kuwa mbaya zaidi Kenya iliweza kupelekwa katika mahakama ya jinai hapa studio ni siko peke yangu ninaye kiongozi wa vijana katika chama cha Kano anafahamika kama Kidi Mwaga ambaye atakuwa anatusaidia kuelewa hili kwa Mauni yako kidi, hili linamanisha nini? Kwanza kabisa sante kwa ku... kualika. Nialika hapa studioni. Uh-huh. E, Ningesema kwamba ushirikiano uliopatikana, muafaka, uh-huh. uliopatikana kati ya Rais Uru Kenyata uh-huh. na Rais Parmajo, uh-huh. inamanisha kwamba e, mchakato wetu wa kidiplomasia uh-huh. ipo thabiti. Uh-huh. Kwa sababu jinsi utakavi ogundua, ni kwamba diplomasia zote katika kiwango cha kimataifa ni kuendeleza ule udiplomasia kati ya mtu na mtu mwingine kati ya rais na rais mwingine ukiangalia pengine tukizingatia tuki, tuki historia eh, wakati rais obama alitaka kuanza kujihusisha eh, kufungua kwa rasa mpya kati ya marekani na, na nchi ya cuba ili kuwa ni kwa sababu ya urafiki uliopo kati yake Rais Obama na Rais Raul Castro na yule aliyemteua kama mwakilishi wake katika mazungumzo hayo Ben Rhodes pia alikuwa rafiki wa karibu na yule Rais Castro alimteua bwana Alejandro Castro asante kuna wakulima ambao wamekuwa wakipeleka mazao yao katika nchi ya Somalia yes. wakulima wa mira kwa mfano sasa kutakuwa na faida yote ambayo watakuwa napata kutokana na uh, uhusiano huu ama makubaliano haya chungu nzima mm-hmm. kwanza kabisa utagundua kwamba wakati uh, tatanishi hivi vilipozuka mm-hmm. eh, Kenya na Somalia mm-hmm. walianza kuweka mikakati fulani ambayo yalikuwa ni ya kuadhibu nchi kuadhibu Somalia na kuadhibu Kenya mm-hmm. kama vile mm-hmm. kitambo ilikuwa ni kwamba ukiwa ukira Somalia Unatoka hapa na passport, unapik, unafika Mogadishu, unapewa visa. Mm-hmm. Wakati tatanishi hivi zilipozuka, ilikuwa sasa ni kwamba lazima uchukue visa kutoka Kenya mm-hmm. ndipo fululize kwenda Mogadishu. Mm-hmm. Na vivyo hivyo Kenya ilivyofanyia wa Somali. Mm-hmm. Ndege za Somali zilikuwa hazifiki Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Kwanza kabisa zilikuwa zinafika wajia ndio zinakubaliwa kufika Nairobi. Mm-hmm. E, e, i, 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 
hizi zilikuwa ziko na hata ile tunaita apparative effect wakati hizi huyu ushirikani umeanza sasa wale wakulima wanaotoa wana, wana, peleka mazao yao Somalia uh-huh. inamaanisha kwamba hizi punitive effects ambazo nchi hizi mbili zilikuwa zimeweka uh-huh. zitaondolewa alafu mtu ambaye anataka kupeleka mali yake Mogadishu uh-huh. atafululiza moja kwa moja uh-huh. yeah. safi shukran sana wa Kenya bila shaka wataweza kunufaika na uchumi wa nchi utazidi kukua na uhusiano bila shaka tunatarajia uweze kuboreka. Tunazo chini ya dakika sita tuweze kuguzia swali tofauti. Kuna swali ambalo sasa hivi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta tukiwa tu bado mtazamaji tunakutayarishia picha ambazo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anazidi uh, za moja kwa moja kutoka eneo hilo la Sagana. Hebu tuguzie hili linamaanisha nini kwa muungano wa Jubilee. Sasa hivi Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anapokutana na viongozi kutoka Mlima Kenya. Uh, kwa kizungu tunasema all politics are local. Mm-hmm. Kumaanisha kwamba siasa zote zinapigwa katika eneo ile ya chini kabisa. Mm-hmm. Kipindi hiki tunaviongea tuko mwaka 2019 inaelekea mwaka 2020. Mm-hmm. E, mwaka 2022 mm-hmm. inakaribia na inamaanisha kwamba e, kila kiongozi mm-hmm. na sasa rais mm-hmm. wakati huu sasa lazima ahakikishe kwamba nyumba yake iko imara mm-hmm. ile kwa kizungu tunasema making sure that his house is in order, is in order. E, hivyo inamaanisha kwamba jubilee imekuwa na titanishi mm-hmm. kwa sababu kwanza kabisa kunaye naibu rais ambaye mm-hmm. alijitokeza mwanzo kabisa mm-hmm. kwamba yeye ni mgombia nambari moja mm-hmm. wa kiti cha rais mm-hmm. lakini wajua kwamba siasa ni kwa sababu ya zile interest mm-hmm. we, we, wanasema no permanent friends but permanent interest mm-hmm. Ni, ni, ni bayana kwamba mpaka sasa zile matakwa ya rais na matakwa ya naibu mm-hmm. pengine zitagongana kidogo. Mm-hmm. Rais anapoita wajumbe wa Mlima Kenya mm-hmm. na wale wajumbe wa Mlima Kenya walio nje ya Mlima Kenya, tunaita kikuyu in diaspora, mm-hmm. inamaanisha rais anaweka nyumba yake inoda mm-hmm. kwa sababu kuna swala la BBI linalokuja. Mm-hmm. Na bibi yeye limempatia tumbo joto Rais Kenyatta maana kuna baadhi tu ya wabunge ambao wameweza kujitokeza na kusema kwamba hawakuhusishwa kikamilifu wakati ambapo mchakato huu mzima ulikuwa unaandikwa. Na ripoti hii wakati ambapo ilikuwa inazidi kuandikwa. Kuna kitu tunaita kwa kizungu political uh, uh, post charing. Kwa wa, wajumbe wanaosema kwamba hawakuwasilishwa uh, ama ku, uh, ku, kuulizwa maoni yao. Uh-huh. Uh, wanafanya ile kitu tunaita political posturing ile unasema kwamba wacha wacha, wacha tulete vurugu mm-hmm. ili wanapotaka kutuliza watu mm-hmm. sisi tu watu wa kwanza kuitwa mm-hmm. eh, handshake mm-hmm. ilikuwa kati ya rights uhuru kenyata mm-hmm. na mtume wa raila odinga mm-hmm. na nitakueleza hivi kama msomi wa sheria mm-hmm. kwamba rais na mtume wa raila odinga wangefanya ile kitu tunaita structured talks mm-hmm. sasa kwamba mtume wa raila odinga atayewe watu wake Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta tewe watu wake hatungepata mwafaka mm-hmm. ambao tunaita tu, 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 handshake kwa sababu utakumbuka kwamba hata wakati wa National Accord and Reconciliation Act mm-hmm. uh, uh, marehemu mwenda zake uh, Kofi Annan mm-hmm. alilazimisha alilazimika kujumuisha Raila Odinga moja kwa moja na Mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki moja kwa moja mm-hmm. ndipo alipopata mwafaka mm-hmm. kwa hivyo hiyo ni political posturing mm-hmm. ndio um, kutakuwa na athari yoyote ambayo itashuhudiwa kwa uh, handshake kutokana na mkutano huu bila shaka kwanza tuna swala la BBI Nam. na hapo ndio kuna athari athari inayokuja inayokuja mm. itakuwa inamfunu, itakuwa inamsaidia Raila Odinga ama watakuwa wana sema kwamba um, um, mapendekezo haya msada huu wa BBI tunao ubwaga chini. Sasa nikisema itamsaidia Raila Odinga uh-huh. nitakuwa nafanya kitu inaitwa uh, political speculation. Mimi maswala uh, nimesomea sheria. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo kama mwana sheria nitakutaka nikujibu na zile kitu tutaitwa facts. Uh-huh. Kwanza kabisa sisi kama wa Kenya hatujui ni kwamba nini iko ndani ya ripoti ya BBI. Uh-huh. Ile kitu tunajua ni kwamba BBI process uh-huh. ile kamati task force ilitembea ikakusanya maju, uh, maoni ya wa Kenya. Uh-huh wakati wanaandika hii ambapo hii the BBI process kidogo mm-hmm. ama kwa kubwa ili iga ile mfumo tuliita bomas process mm-hmm. iliyo eh, eh, ongozwa na professor Yashpalgai no. inapokuja mm-hmm. 
ninacho ninacho kiamini ni kwamba kwanza itafanya ile kitu tunaita kwa Kiingereza altering the political landscape. Mm-hmm. Na wakati ita alter the political landscape mm-hmm. there are I mean uh, imminent casualties. Mm-hmm. Kuna wale wale ambao sasa zao itakuwa ime eh, ime imenoga sana ita itaimarika. Mm-hmm. Na kuna wale ambao kidogo sasa yao pengine itatingika mm-hmm. kidogo. Mm-hmm. E, kwa hivyo hiyo lazima tute, tu, 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 tutarajie. Mm-hmm. Ndiyo. Swala la urithi mwaka wa 2022 na tumaya kwamba litakuwa linajadiliwa ni miongoni mwa masala tu ambayo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta atakuwa analichanganulia ama Bila shaka. atakuwa analiangazia. Bila shaka. Unatarajia nini? Je, watakuwa wanasema kwamba sasa hivi iwapo katika Uh, katika nyumba ya Rais Kenyatta hamna yote ambaye atakuwa na mrithi wachague kiongozi tofauti kutokana na uh, kando na nyumba ya Rais Kenyatta tutatumia uh, ile facts uh-huh. facts tuseme naje kwa Kiswahili uh-huh. historical fact Nam. mwaka 2012 wakati Rais Kibaki sasa na, anaondoka uh-huh. Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga alitamani sana kurithi ule base ya Mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki uh-huh. the Mount Kenya base. Uh-huh. Wakati huo alikuwa na watu kama Wambugu Gujiri. Uh-huh. E, alikuwa na watu kama Mwenda zake Njenga Karume uh-huh. na uh, wanamuziki wana kuguru ambao uh-huh. walijaribu sana kupeleka mlima Kenya. Uh-huh. Lakini Mwenda zake John Michuki kwa wakati, wakati moja uh-huh. akasema uh-huh. sisi kama watu wa mlima Kenya. Uh-huh anayetaka kuzungumza nasi uh-huh. lazima aonge nasi kupitia uhuru mwigai Kenyatta. Uh-huh. Wakati watu mlima Kenya wao wenyewe kwa wenyewe uh-huh. kuna ile wakati wa ile tunaitwa the Mount Kenya elites. Uh-huh. Walipokutana uh-huh. wakasema their spokesperson ni uhuru Kenyatta uh-huh. basi kawa ni uhuru Kenyatta. Uh-huh. Mpaka sasa uh-huh. rais haja hajamteua. Haja Yule atakaye uh-huh. mrithi. Uh-huh. Kwa hivyo ni katika mchakato kama hizi mazungumzo kama haya uh-huh ndio wata, watajaribu ku build consensus uh-huh. kwanza kukubaliana uh-huh. alafu pengine watajua kwamba sasa nani atakuwa anaongea kwa niaba ya mlima Kenya uh-huh. lazima niseme kwamba kuna wale wamejitokeza wame wakitaka kujifanya kwamba wanaongea niaba kwa niaba ya mlima Kenya uh-huh. kama vile tuna gavana ana waiguru inamaanisha nini kwa Raila Odinga nimekuambia kwamba sasa all politics are local uh-huh. and uh, hiyo inamaanisha kwamba pengine mlima Kenya jinsi ilivyo uh-huh kulingana na ile eh, uh, uh, kuku, makubaliano kati ya rais na mheshimiwa rais Odinga mm. kwa sababu rais Kenyatta bado ni mchanga yupo I mean uh, Mungu akimjalia uzima mm-hmm. kidogo ataweza ku, kuwa na, ku, Kuli, ku kuongoza taifa ku stage manage mm-hmm. that, that succession process mm-hmm. Hii ni tofauti na Rais Kibaki kwa sababu Rais Kibaki alipokuwa anaondoka uh-huh. kidogo ate ilikuwa imeathirika uh-huh. alikuwa kidogo amezeeka uh-huh. kwa hivyo what it, what this means for Raila Odinga uh-huh. is that it may be a bag of political fortunes uh-huh. or a bag of political misalies <laughs> kauli yako yaka vizuri sana haya tu achane na hayo uh, swali tu la mwisho dakika tu moja amwelekezi wangu uh, ha tuna tarajia Raila o- ama kwa upande wa, wa, wa William Ruto ambaye ni naibu rais mm. hili litakuwa linamwendea vizuri unadhani ya kwamba hali ama uhusiano wake na Kinara ama rais wa nchi utakuwa unazidi ku kuwa mbaya wakati huu tumesikia tu, uh, uh, fununu kwamba mheshimiwa naibu wa rais alitamani sana kufika mlima kufika Sagana Naam lakini kwa sababu ambazo sisi hatuelewi kama wananchi hakuweza kufika hakuweza kufika mm-hmm. inakuambia kwamba lile mkutano mm-hmm. sio mkutano wake mm-hmm. na ingekuwa kwamba ni mkutano ambao ingemfaidi mm-hmm. angefika pale mm-hmm. eh safi naomba ushikilie kauli yako hapo dakika ni hamsini na nane mtazamaji zimekatika baada ya saa sita mchana matukio nyanjani ikionia wami ya kwanza tunatamatisha ndaka kwa na rejea ninazo taarifa zingine lakini hapa studio ni inayekili mwaga ambaye ni kiongozi wa vijana katika chama cha Kanu vile vile ni wakili atakuwa anatusaidia kuelewa masala kadha kadha kabla tuweze kumkaribisha mwanzangu Bosco Ambunda pamoja na Jason Sagini waweze kufika papa hapa vile vile kuchanganua kisporti mambo yamekuwa vipi lakini sasa hivi tuende kwenye mapumziko Thank <laughs> you.